Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We now have a choice of where we can go. We can Valley of Repose or the Perplexing Pool. I'm thinking we should go to the Valley of Repose because it was the first area in the game. So, yeah, let's go back in and visit the incredibly beauty snowy area once again. This time with a full squad of all sorts of Pikmin colors we can use to solve the many puzzles along the way. Well, maybe not that many puzzles, but still puzzles nonetheless. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Gots to get out the whites. Gots to get out the purples. Gots to get Louie in our squad. Uh, probably a bunch of blues. Like, a lot of blues. Uh, yeah, I'll go with 60 blues. I think that's a wise investment of my Pikmin choices. Um, 10 of those, and 10 of these. And that fills out our squad. Not gonna bother raising up numbers here, I'm just gonna focus on uh, getting progress on the treasures and the areas and stuff like that, so yeah. Starting out by wiping out this guy, yeah! Go, 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 go! And Big Mama here definitely most certainly has to go because I gotta take stuff back through this place. So stun and destroy! Voila! If I have some time along the day, I'll probably have them carry some Pikmin back to breed up numbers, but yeah, we'll see. Um, as you see, there's water here, and this is why I've got a ton of blues. Well, partially why I've got a ton of blues, because there's actually a bunch of water obstacles um, around this place. First, there's this right here. Get some Pikmin on that wall there, and I'm going to take uh, another uh, section of the squad over on this side here. And... I wonder if I should do this with blues, because this might be a bad choice. But here we go! Burrowing Snaggerets! <laughs> yeah, there's one here too! <laughs> uh, wait till it goes back on the ground. Uh, okay, come on. Come on, I'll get to get stuck in the ground. Okay, that's good. That's not bad. Uh, uh, still not ideal. Yeah, I just lost two there, but not bad. Not too bad. The only reason why I'm bothering to do this with blues right here rather than waiting until they uh, get done with the wall is just for the sake of speed. And yeah, um, you got the... <laughs> that pellet just really flew over there. Now I'm going to take Louie here and grab the whites and take them around this way. Because I need the whites to uncover something over on this side. So I'm going to have them chuck up a couple over there. And I'm going to call them over here. And there we go. There's the spot. And I guess I'll leave them with that like so. And take Louie back around here to see how the blues are doing, I suppose. They should be almost done, I think. Keyword should be. Yes, very close. Okay, they're done. Now, I'm going to take these over here and plop them on this rock, because this rock is a cork. Yep, a cork that will drain out the water and will allow me to take my Pikmin squad through here. Oh, oh wait, what happened? What happened? What's going on? What? Some Pikmin was drowning. I don't know what the heck happened, but some Pikmin was drowning. Now they're not, because, you know, they're kind of... I just drained the water out, but I don't know, I heard- Oh, how did a white get over here? Like, how... What? I- Sometimes I just don't understand how this game makes Pikmin go around. <laughs> okay, they are taking that treasure back that they got from underground. We will soon see what it is. Here it is! It's a mood ring! yoo At least I think it's a mood ring. Looks like a mood ring. Pink Menace! <laughs> yeah, it sure sounds like a mood ring to me. 70 70 percent of the depth has been recovered. And now, let's go get the rest of our squad here. Uh, I wonder if I should get the blues back at the base. I don't know, I'll probably be fine with the blues that I have now. Um, unless I'm really strapped for... Yeah, I don't know, those water dumples. They could cause my blues ire. 
Uh, well, maybe. I don't know. 47 blues is probably more than enough. I do like to swarm these guys, though, because they're quite aggressive eaters. There we go. <laughs> okay, where, where's two? Where did I lose two? Oh, there we go. <laughs> attack, attack, attack. There we go. And now I need to get the blues onto the bridge to... No, stop it! Why do two keep going on the dumples? Why? <laughs> Um, this actually might be an issue because there's a fiery blowhog up there. I might decide to attack it with the captain, but I don't know. I might be able to take it on with blues just fine. Oh, God! Our decorated cannon beetle! These rocks follow the captains. Yeah, so you can actually cause the rocks to loop around and damage the beetles. Like so. <laughs> that was perfect, actually. Uh, that rock... Oh, I was going to say, that rock looks like it's pretty well stuck. Okay, you, I want you to turn this way so that you aren't, like, bugging my squad. I mean, throwing my squad into something dangerous. Uh, please don't fire from the backside. Oh, God! <laughs> That's why I don't like attacking them with blues, or any other color if I can help it. But it's, the way that they got it set up, I can't really get other colors over there easily enough, so yeah. Uh, okay, we're good. <laughs> okay, everyone on the bridge. We should be good then, I think, maybe. I'm gonna multitask here. You there. Hey, hey, shoot the boulder over here. Yes! <laughs> and now I want to just cause death to become the decorated cannon beetle via a... Boomerang attack? Yes! Oh, not quite. <laughs> it wasn't a strong hit, I guess. Well, I could just do this to finish it off. You know, punch at it with the captain. Um, by the way, if you're running while you're punching, you actually punch a little bit faster than uh, if you were just standing in place and punching. I don't know why that does that. It, uh, some people think it's a glitch, but I'm not so sure about that. Uh, oh, they're done with the bridge. Sweet! Okay, so we are good in this department. Uh, okay, got everyone? Everyone okay? Okay. Uh, the rest of them should be at the base. Keyword should be, you just never know with Pikmin sometimes. <laughs> okay, we're good. And now, we're, we are going to go take this path over here. Come on, straggler leaves. Follow me. Uh, actually, uh, should I take this path or the other path? Probably this path. Because uh, we got we got quite a battle going on here. First, what I'm going to do is take the yellows here and chuck them up top here. I don't think you need yellows for this, but it's just handy to have them. Uh, uh, let's just see. Do I how many do I need to get that bear statue? 25. Okay, I'm going to have to throw some other stuff up there. How about you and a little bit of you? Because pur red purples got the power. Uh, will purples get up there? Yes! Okay, yeah, you see when you throw them up there, they automatically go over to the statue. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. And now, they will take it through this spot right here. So I'm just gonna leave my squad there and grab the blues. And, oh, no, red. Don't, 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 no. <laughs> gonna take the blues, got some dumples. Good. And one more too. That is my war cry. <laughs> stop. No, stop carrying stuff. But I don't want you to carry them. Alright, now, fiery ball blacks. Gotta deal with blues here. So, I have a strategy for this. Okay, dismiss them here. Now, wake up the ball blacks with a punch. Grab all your Pikmin. Now, get it in the water. Power up your Pikmin with the spray. And then, wait for it to. No, 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 go! Oh, there we go. Once it once it gets in the water, it it um it sort of snuffs out. There we go. And now what you want to do is freeze it with the ultra bitter spray. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it does. Most impressive. This fierce beast became as hard as stone in a mere instant. The ultra bitter extract seems to have a side effect that stops beasts in their tracks. And now I'm going to mass attack it with the blues as fast as I can before it recovers, because it's going to recover really quick, oh god! <laughs> That's a scary one to get, because you got to deal with a powerful enemy that recovers quickly, even with the Ultra Bitter Spray, with limited resources of the blues, and yeah. 
Uh, I guess I'll take the fiery ball blocks back. That thing's got... That thing gives you a lot of Pikmin. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, hmm, huh, what, what, hmm, oh, I guess I... Oh, yeah, that's right. They bred up some Pikmin. That's, okay, we're good. Oh, they got the statue back. And... It is... Fossilize Ursa Day. So notice that it's got a fish in its mouth. <clears throat> yep. Okay, um, now, let's see what we should do here. I should say what we can do here. I don't know if I can do stuff over here safely. Maybe I can. I think it's clear enough. Oh, yeah, I guess I could. It's just a watery blowhog. If I distract it with some blues, uh, like, get it over. Oh, shoot! I got a white in there. Whoopsie! Uh. Oh! <laughs> No! <laughs> Emergency! Pick what are suffering! If your blur us, will be, you may be able to help them. Yeah, it's just like the fiery blowhog when they're coated with water. Give me a. There we go. <laughs> uh, blues. Just a couple of blues here. There we go. Just to keep it busy. And the rest, uh, I will chuck over on the wall. Except for that red. That red is just. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Yeah, on the wall. On the wall. On the wall. Get that. Well done. I want to unlock the subterranean complex and get a few floors done here. And eh, I'll throw this red on here while it's gonna buck them forward. And finish it off. Yes. All right. I think I'm gonna get Olimar here to grab the rest of our squad and get him over to the subterranean complex. Sort of uh, one of those multitasking things, because I'm, I'm not going to have uh, enough time to clear out the other portion of this area uh, this day. Which is perfectly fine, though, because this is a long area. Well, I should say all areas are uh, pretty long in general, but yeah. Uh, let's see, I also got two Pikmin to pluck, because I know uh, um, two died and then two got spawned from the Onion via that. And yeah, it's nice that Blues are taking this back to the Onion here, because... Uh, It'll be getting the blues num blue numbers up nicely. I'll need them for a certain devastating uh, un uh, blue-only dungeon, I guess you could say. Temporal mechanism. <clears throat> Alright, let's get our squad. And there we go, 86 sets. Let's see, there were 10 whites. Then there were the three blues and one white over there. So, okay, I should have them all... Um, in my squad and don't have to worry about any losses or anything like that. So now I just got to get these guys back uh, over to Louis. And since the place is cleared, it should go pretty smoothly overall. Uh huh. <laughs> and hopefully. <laughs> we still got leaves in our party, so this is uh, going to take a little while. And I haven't really seen any. Uh, good spots to get nectar. Oh, and yes, I know that there is a uh, uh, thingajigger buried here, but I, I'll get that a little bit later on. It's just that I, I was focused on doing certain spot, I mean, doing certain things this day, um, rather than getting that particular treasure, because that treasure is a breeze to get. You just need the whites to, you know, go over there and grab it, so it's not really that big of a deal to get or anything like that. So, yeah, that should work out nicely when I get there another day. And how are the whites doing? Oh, jeez. Um, I'm really questioning if I should have went back to get some whites. Although, I might, keyword might, be able to throw a couple Pikmin on top of the bridge and get them to knock them on the wall a little bit faster? Maybe? But I don't know, that's... Not the most ideal of situations. Uh, let's see. What if I, what if I speed this along here? Eh. <laughs> go 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 go! If only they could destroy those uh, uh, poison barricades. I mean, those poison pipes that are underneath the bridge. But no, they always attack the bridge. It's unfortunate. Come on, guys. Time's running short. Getting a little scared here. Well, maybe I can. Uh, Get some up on top of the bridge. Eh, no, no, no. <laughs> eh, I think I'm taking too many unnecessary risks. <laughs> well, I, oh, well, I think I'll have it. Have enough time here. Uh, maybe. I think that whole bridge is just poison all around. Help him, Olimar! Help him! Help him! <laughs> nah, it doesn't help if you punch the gate with uh, Olimar. Um, uh, uh, hold on, one more. 
One more spray. <laughs> I know I'm kind of being wasteful here, but I just want to get over to the subterranean complex, if at all possible. Not sure if it's going to happen, but I really hope it's going to happen. <laughs> Come on. I should have grabbed more white, shouldn't I? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh! <laughs> well. Hmm. 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 There we go! Now attack those poison. Attack the poison. Attack the poison. Go knock it out. 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 Go, 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 go. <laughs> One. Cutscene, 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 cutscene. Yes, yes, yes. And I gotta get in. Gotta get in. Gotta get in. <laughs> Interesting. My metal detectors are reacting violently. I can only conclude that there may be some sort of machine blow. That seems illogical. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Going, 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 going. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I know there's two stragglers out there, and I, I'm pretty sure they're whites, but... <laughs> I made it in. <laughs> Dang this cold. <laughs> that was awesome. I just barely made it. Alright. Subterranean complex here, as you can tell, starts out as another snow-based area, but it gets a lot more different later on. Um, you know what? Maybe I'm going to start this place in the next part. So I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you then.